down. Here we go on fourth down with Jackson. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Darnell Dockett. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. They'll run on first down. It's Brown. He takes us down to about the 12 for a gain of three. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. You got it. Ready. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. On second and seven, Newton nowhere to escape, and he goes down. That's sacked by Khalil Mack. Throwing on third and long. Pressure too great, and he goes down once more. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. That is inches from the upright. It's no good. Wind to the left, and this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. The Oakland offense about ready to start this next drive. And last time they were very fortunate, this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory. But the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? That was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold it. But he up. trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own side. Now we'll see what his offense can do. They got two of the three they needed there. It leaves them with third and just a yard. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Now Jackson on first down, and this is caught by Witten, the tight end. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. On third down, Jackson. Man open, it's Moss complete. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Jackson and the offense come up first and 10. And he's a perfect five for five here to begin the game. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. And an alley to run. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Give them 12 yards that time and an Oakland first down. From the red zone now, here's Jackson on first down. Got a man, it's Randy Moss. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. That was the ninth play of the drive, and they pick up nine yards with it. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Toss play to Jackson. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss, and now it's third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. 
It's dead. Didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. Now Jan Stenerud on for the field goal try. A 33-yarder from the left hash. And that'll set him back five. Now Jan Stenerud on for the field goal try. On the left hash mark, this a 38-yard attempt. And the 38-year-old vet able to split the uprights. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. Now the drive ends in just three, but they'll take it. Looks like they'll head to the locker room, barring something unfortunate, in front on the scoreboard. Yeah, they may not be jumping up and down and celebrating because they have the lead, but still, any little momentum in a game like this is important to a team. And they'll feel real good about going in and regrouping, knowing that they are out in front. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here we go, here we go. Gun, gun, gun. They'll fake the handoff. Now Newton. Gronkowski got it on the crossing route. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. 20. A final shot before the break. Newton. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with a pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. The Raiders with the lead already, and they will get the football here as the second half is now underway. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They have the lead, now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters, as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Now it's Jackson, and that's incomplete. The Pro Bowl wideout Julio Jones is intended receiver, and it'll bring up third down. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Now Jackson. Got a man. It's Randy Moss complete. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. They'll run it here. This is their fullback getting the carry. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Brings up second and 10 at the 49 yard line. Man, we got to get the stop here, D. On second down now. It's Jackson. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. 
It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. Again, it's Jackson as he'll stay on the ground. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. A nice first down pickup on a gain of six. As I take a look at the clock, I realize that this drive is eating up a good portion of the fourth quarter already. I gotta tell you, partner, when you're trying to salt away a game, this is exactly what it's supposed to look like. A pretty good looking run there on first down. That'll go for nine yards, just short of the line to gain. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and one at the 29 yard line. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. On the run, it's Bo Jackson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. And now a carry here for their fullback. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. A 16-yard touchdown run. And the Raiders able to extend that advantage. A good, sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with great dispatch. Extra point by Stenerud, up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Following the touchdown, here's Stenerud to kick it away. This will be fielded at the six. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And their halftime hold now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. He's going to float this over the middle deep, and it's knocked away and incomplete. The 14-time Pro Bowler, Tony Gonzalez, the intended receiver. And that'll make it third down. Out of the gun. Newton. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Khalil.